all right then ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome to crypto space so in today's video we are going to cover pepe its recent price action and of course we are going to cover a couple of interesting metrics for pepe and on the top of that we are going to have a look at bitcoin charts and altcoin charts as well guys if you are new please consider subscribing and a quick disclaimer that this video is not financial advice and now for the audience that is relatively new on the channel please be aware that there is quite a lot of scammers in the in the comments down below every single time i block the person they are coming out every now and then and they are basically bought so please be careful and now guys let's have a look at what is going on on the four hourly time frame for pepe the frog so we have almost reached that level of support over here at 91234 pepe on the four hourly time frame well the kind of good thing is that pepe has bottomed out if it comes to rsi stochastic rsi on the four hourly time frame now let's actually have a look at what is going on on the daily time frame so on the daily time frame guys before obviously pepe reached its new all-time highs etc and now we can clearly see that pepe obviously dumped right now looking at the rsi guys as i was mentioning in a previous video i believe um it looks like that rsi is going to reset and potentially we might see you know a further continuation of that dip which would also align with a couple of percent downward momentum if pepe would retest that level of 9112 as a support which would be kind of logical for me rsi is going to reset at that point we are going to retest this level as a support and then we are going to be ready for the next pump for pepe and why did i set next pump so actually let's switch it to the daily now guys all right sorry weekly so if we are going to look at the weekly Things are looking well, let's say, in the neutral area at the moment. But now, if it comes to RSI, stochastic RSI, that looks like, obviously, we have experienced that bullish cross at the moment. And now RSI, you know, basically bends towards the right side. Hopefully, this is not going to be the indication of the bearish cross. That's why we do have to monitor that. Nevertheless, guys, at the moment, I would say it's neutral. And even if Pepe is going to dip, you know, a couple of percent, and retest that level as a support i don't think that this is a big problem and of course that's also caused due to the fact that bitcoin dominance actually you know spiked upwards and this is something that we don't necessarily want to see that much because obviously we are all waiting for the proper altcoin season nevertheless this is still bitcoin's time i believe so let's actually switch it to the daily that bitcoin dominance guys and as you guys can see you know like if you are actually following every single update you remember when i was saying about the morning star right so we did had a dip a little bit on the dominance however obviously inflows from a btc are basically signaling one thing you know this is btc's season at the moment at least However, I do believe that we are going to lose that dominance at some point, right? It's quite difficult to say when exactly, but as you guys can see, Bitcoin's dominance is not going to stay in that area forever. But now anyways, let's cover BTC's price action and let's see what BTC is doing. So guys, first of all, I do have a target for BTC that's around, you know, 100k in let's say coming weeks, months, who knows to being honest, but let's actually have a look at the smaller time frame because obviously that's a daily update for Pepe and we are trying to determine of what can potentially happen for, you know, Pepe on the daily. That's why we do have to look at the BTC's price action. So let's have a look. That is a four hourly time frame and what BTC is doing is pretty much going sideways at the moment, you know. So actually looking at liquidity, by the way, that is is a Binance liquidity um, BTC USDT on the 24 hourly time frame so as you guys can see we do have around 15 million USD of liquidity above that current price and we also do have around 13 millions you know worth of liquidity below the current price for BTC so I do believe that as of today the price could be probably boring but anyways let's actually check holders for Pepe so guys the last update was on 17th of May and we're sitting at 219,332 holders and as of today we are sitting at 219k 922 so that's around correct me if I'm wrong around 580 maybe 600 new holders for Pepe so accumulation is basically growing nevertheless I do believe that this is calm before the storm for Pepe so now actually let's have a look at the overall market so as of today we actually have a bonk as a winner up 13 and a half percent we got beam we've got render uniswap 
and Pepe is actually 6.7% down. But anyways, guys, let's cover some charts for BTC and in general for the market because obviously, as I was saying before, you know, looking at only Pepe's chart isn't going to really help us too much. So that is a four hourly time frame for BTC. So shout out to Trader Taring Grade. It's been a nice uptrend continuation after breakout on four hourly time frame chart. So guys, that target actually perfectly played, you know, inverse head and shoulders. And we are sitting at that area now. And now, guys let's actually have a look at this beautiful chart so shout out to tech dev 52 the more things change the more things stay the same so actually let's first of all have a look at what happened in the bull cycle starting in 2015 i believe 2018 so we've got this bitfinex crash that was in here exactly at the same time as FTX crash. That's so funny, you know. And then the sideways price action was going for nine bars. And that, by the way, is three weekly charts. We're going sideways in here as well. Then we had, you know, a bit of a pump, then a bit of a stagnation, let's say, sideways price action, and then poof, parabola. But if you're going to look at the current BTC's price action, these charts are looking pretty much identical to me. So that's actually funny. But anyways, let's have a look at this chart. So shout out to the Titan of Crypto. And this is one monthly chart. Bitcoin attracted to 77,000 like a magnet. May could be the month we see BTC breaks free from the blue line blue of the power law corridor currently lying at 77.2 thousand usd so guys once we are going to break above that i believe that is going to be definitely much more bullish outlook for btc nevertheless in my opinion it's bullish on its own already but let's have a look at this chart these are old coins that are excluding bitcoin and ethereum on the monthly chart so don't sleep on old titan of crypto is saying first phase just ended second phase is about to start so guys if we are going to look at the you know at the perspective of where we are in the previous bull cycle at that time this is pretty much no brainer that we are going to you know enter to this last phase let's say that is the most parabolic which we are all waiting for and now let's have a look at what the scalping pro has to say bitcoin front running perma bears and sideliners every single time so guys this chart is actually perfect representation of how we should deal with our emotions right so at the time if you've been around you know in crypto and in btc basically at that time in late 2023 you know when btc's price dipped to 15,000, right you had perfect opportunity but people always are thinking Thinking, oh no it's going to be 3k 5k 10k nevertheless i believe that 15,800 price for btc is definitely much better than 50,000 or 70 or 67 whatever it is at the moment but i hope that you get the point and if you are going to look at this recent dump on btc it's a double top 50k imminent so even i was saying that yes it is possible but it doesn't mean that you know it's time to be bearish on bitcoin because we are approaching that parabolic phase for btc and crypto in general you know so if that 50k will happen well still can happen anything might happen well i will tell you what i will do i will definitely gonna you know degen into that btc or whatever crypto i believe in or a pepe because i believe that every single dip is meant for buying well it of course depends you know what time definitely not at the peak of the bull cycle but we are going to get into that and now guys shout out to el crypto prof nobody shouldn't faint this chart i've been sharing this for almost two years and everything is going according to the plan if you have the patience you'll be richly rewarded the most exciting part of this bull cycle is yet to come if you ask me so guys let's have a look at the cycle in 2014 2018 so that was our bear cycle right work wake of accumulation however you want to call it then we had the first breakout and we have retested this level as a support after that we had the first leg in which we actually had a little bit of you know sideways price action obviously that is a monthly chart so it looks very little on this chart however back then people were basically were shaken out just like right now nevertheless after that we had a huge pump on altcoins and on btc together so let's have a look at this cycle exactly the same right you've got your bear cycle accumulation whatever then you had the first breakout out of that zone of the bear cycle then retest as a support then the first leg up and the question is is that going to play exactly the same it played over here because if yes get ready guys all right and now according to the scalping pro we are in the belief 
Thanks. So it kind of makes, you know, sense. Obviously, I'm reading the comments and I'm not necessarily replying to all of you guys, right? However, I do read them. So please remember that. And, you know, this is how it feels, right? People went like more optimistic, let's say two months ago when we saw that pump, you know, in March, etc. And after that, people lost that, you know, optimism, interest, etc. And once the next pump is going to come, I believe that is going to be belief, right? Not mentioning about thrill and euphoria. And these people, these poor people, that because they are going to come basically people that are going to come in that area i believe they are going to be our exit liquidity and now you might think this is not fair well it is not fair however this is the game guys right so basically if you are not paying attention you are not educating yourself and dcaing in you know in the depths of the bear cycle into projects that you are believing right this is the price that you have to pay right you are coming at the end and you are basically exit liquidity but i believe that you guys are not going to be that exit liquidity okay please remember control your greed and take profits along the way ladies and gents that's it what i've got for you today thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace i love crypto